Okay. All right. Hey. Um, I um just wanted to say uh, I th I felt like this video needed to be made. Um, you guys know who you are. I wanted to say a big thank you to a lot of people who recently have um stood up for me and defended me. Um both offline and online, and there's kind of a, quite a few of you, so I, I'm, I'm not going to be naming names right now, but I will thank you, because, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't know, it means a lot to me when people stick up for me, because I'm used to being the, uh, the strong champion for, for the helpless, or, you know, the one who speaks up for the people who don't speak up for themselves, I'm used to defending my friends and standing up for my friends, and, you know, I'm used to kind of being the, the, the uh, catalyst, the activist, person, you know, the aggressor who's like, hey, you know, you leave my friend alone or, you know, you, you know, I will join you in that night fight and I will, you know, I will defend you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to run away. If you're getting attacked, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, you know, I'm the type of person who's just going to be like, let's do this. I got your back. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't like try to get involved in fights or anything. I'm just saying like, you know, it's, it's, I defend my friends, you know, like, you know, even if, even if, uh, it, it burns my bridge. It, it makes me look bad. Like I was, I mean, that's who I am. You know, that's, that's just the way I am. So, you know, I have a lot of passive friends and a lot of, uh, introverted friends and a lot of, uh, quieter friends. And so, you know, I'm not really used to, you know, they don't they don't really like, most of my friends don't like confrontation. So I'm not really used to them, uh, really getting in the game, getting in the fight, really, uh, backing me up, you know, and I even had <laughs> my first boyfriend who so far has been my worst boyfriend, um, he didn't even back me up, you know, there were a couple times he had plenty of opportunity to defend me, stand up for me, protect me, make me feel, uh, defended or safe or whatever, and he failed miserably, he did not do that, he, you know, made me feel more like his competition or like he would, you know, he wanted to, you know, uh, <laughs> corrupt me, but he didn't make me feel safe. He didn't make me feel defended or like I had a loyal friend or confident. I felt like I was always, he was always, you know, fighting everything I said to. So that also kind of, you know, and I had a really tough year with some other things. Some, some one of my, my ex best friend, he tried to destroy and sabotage my business because of personal issues that, you know, including me never being interested in him and some other stuff that just, were, you know, it just was, it was just wrong stuff that, you know, people, people stab, stab me in the back. And the prior year before that, somebody tried to, somebody, one of my uh, childhood friends and his, his, his whack ass friend stole the car off my lawn. And, <laughs> and, and, and somebody, some, some kid stole 200 bucks from me after, who you know, I was trying to help him out for his family and, and he just was, you know, robbing me and stuff. So there's a lot of negative stuff that happened, and I had stabbed in the back by some other friend that I was that I was friends with. He tried to steal my, was it PlayStation or was it my hard drive? I can't remember now. But just, you know, just some stuff, you know, you know, raunchy stuff, and and people just, you know, saying bad stuff that's not true. Just so I just, I, you know, I was already kind of not really feeling too great about people. You know, and I, I'm still standing up for people, just not really feeling like they were standing up for me. So to all of you guys, you know, and, and also, you know, when I get, when people stand up for me, like it really, um, it, it moves me. Like it, it is profound to me. Like it, it makes me feel human and connected and happy. And, um, I'm, I am that damsel in distress type that the whole rescue me thing turns me on. I get excited by it. I like that. I do. I'm not even going to pretend. It does. Yeah, I'm all over that. So, <laughs> so um, I like it in many different ways when people stand up for me. It, it really, um, it is it is one of the things that, you know, if you can't make me laugh, which if you can make me laugh, that is the bomb. You know, if you can't charm me, if you can't, you know, take me on an adventure or, you know, romance me or whatever, stand up for me, defend me save me if you save me or rescue me in any way i am you know i am i am yours forever okay i'm yours for life so i want to thank you guys for uh backing me up online um uh most of the stuff online uh has been the stuff offline is different but the stuff online has mostly been political stuff you know um, I've had to be defended 
against uh, racist Republicans and defended against atheist Democrats, and who are who are using their power with me or or attacking and and, and uh, disrespecting me or whatever. And so you know, and, then, and there's some other things. Uh, there's a couple of things online too that have happened in the past that I've been defended by. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys have done. And I know this is a long thank you video, but I figure I have long videos and other stuff. So it, what's wrong with me taking forever to thank you? So I just want to say thank you, um, and I love you, and uh, I will always have your back. I mean, you already knew that, but if you didn't know that, now you know that for sure. And I, and for those of you who I, I didn't think had it in you, I'm so sorry I doubted you. I'm not going to tell you who you are, but <laughs> but I really do appreciate it, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So thank you, and uh, we'll, we will continue to... Uh, have each other's backs, yo, alright, alright, I like this, and this really awesome song that you are listening to right now is uh, one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite groups, uh, Manana Manipulation, it's actually just Manipulation, by a group called Group One Crew, that I think is phenomenal, and um, you should look at their video, it's uh, on YouTube, just Google Group One Crew Manipulation, and to everybody else out there, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of us are lonely or feel like we've disconnected from the world, even in a, in a group of people. I've been in so many groups of people and still felt alone, you know, because I don't really feel like people get me or know me or understand me. And, you know, I have a couple of friends who I think understand me, who I, who I feel more connected to. But sometimes all it takes to make someone's day is just to just say, hey, leave my friend alone, <laughs> you know, or hey, that's my friend, you know. Let's, you know, be cool. You know, just little things like that can really rock a person's world and, and really just change their whole worldview and make them feel like, wow, so this planet is really worth being on. <laughs> I mean, I still feel like an alien, but I feel like a, I feel like a protected alien. So thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Love you long time. Peace.